Hello everybody, one more time, my name is Alex Antenna with Mercados Interactive Partners and in this very quick episode we're going to be taking a look at how to create shortcodes in WordPress as a CMS. So uh, it is not a very difficult technique but uh, starter developers are going to uh, at some point want to develop their own shortcodes and so this is a very quick tutorial on how to do that and we're going to do it with we're going to do it with a particular example so that you learn how to add shortcodes to your WordPress installations as a plugin. So let's go ahead and, and get going. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to the plugins um, folder inside of the WP content directory in your WordPress installation. So plugins you're gonna create a new folder you can name it whatever you want in this case I called it color dash changer and we're going to create a new file inside of that directory that we're going to call index index.php and uh, you can see it's right there and this is going to be a PHP file and you can get rid of the closing tag per the instructions and the first part is that we're going to create a comment that is necessary for our plugins to have and uh, I'm just going to include some of the uh, necessary items here which is plugin name and I'm going to call this one color changer and uh, then we're going to give it also a plugin URL or URI and uh, the plugin URI is going to be just uh, the URI where you provide support for the plugin then description uh, this plugin allows to change the color of the page by using a simple short code and then we're going to give it an author and we're going to give it an author URI great and after that you can go ahead and close the comment all right and that means that we're ready to go if you actually go ahead and head to your installation of WordPress and then plugins you should see that should be available for activating already color changer and with all the things that we included here actually you can see that some of them have versions so let's go ahead and add that one too so if we do that it should now have a version for our plugin right here which is fantastic so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add uh, a short code so the function to use is actually add short code and this function is going to take two parameters the first parameter is what we're gonna call the short code and I am gonna call it uh, color so when I'm calling the short code I'm gonna use the keyword color and then the function that I'm gonna be calling I'm just gonna call KDS color change okay and that pretty much adds the short code and so when I call this keyword is going to execute this function so let's define that function so function KDS color change and of course this function is going to take two parameters the first one is the ATTS and the second one is content equal null we're not going to go into details of what this does of course if you want to learn more about the functions and uh, the functions specifically for shortcodes you can definitely check the codex in uh, wordpress.org um, so the first part is to use the function extract and inside of the function extract we're going to have two parameters the first parameter 
I'm gonna give to you guys in a second, but the second one is ATTS, the attributes, and uh, and the first one is gonna be an array. And this array is going to be the array of the default options for my shortcode. So I'm just gonna call this attribute back and I'm gonna give it a color of red. That means that by default, if I don't call an attribute on the color shortcode, it is going to say, oh, I'm gonna use red because that is the default. So by using this extract function and uh, actually, in fact, it's not, you need the shortcode ATTS function. There you go. So now we're good. Uh, the first one is that. Yep. All right. So shortcode ATTS is the name of the function that takes two parameters. The first one, the array. The second one, the ATTS object. And outside of that, the extract function. Great. Uh, then after that, we're going to just define a quick uh, string. And in this string, what we're going to do is we're going to call the actual style that is going to change our background. So very simply, what we're going to do is change the background color. Um, that's pretty much what it's going to be. So once we call this shortcode named color, in our page, then it's going to execute this function. And this function, basically what it does is extracts whatever attri uh, attributes we defined in the short code. But if it doesn't find anything, it has a default one called back that it is going to default to red. And as we can, as you can see, we are using that back attribute here, uh, assigning it in a C CSS style to the body of our page. And all that is left is for us to return that. And with your codes, you return and you don't print. Um, so you just have to return the actual code. And that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and run it. First thing you have to do is activate it. So let's go ahead and do that. Activate and let's go to create a new post that we're going to call color changer. And you can add any content there. And of course, our shortcode named color. By just adding this shortcode color, let's go ahead and take a look. And sure enough, the default red is in the background. So if we go to the home page, gray. But if we go to the post that we just created with the shirt code, it actually has a red background. So let's say that we wanted to match the trains yellow here, nice yellow. So I have a nice tool here, the uh, color selector with Firefox. So we're just going to click here to copy that color and we're going to edit the post and adding an attribute to that, which is called back. So if we go back to the code, you can see the attribute, we named it back. What that means is this is going to hold the color that we're defining as the background. And in this case is the yellow color that we want so that it matches the train. And let's go ahead and take a look at that post. And sure enough, it is in the yellow matching the train. So very simple example, of course, but very useful if you want to change the background of your of your pages using a simple shortcode, you can do so by using this particular plugin. And so we've covered a lot of ground, very interesting stuff from first, the creation of plugins, to second, uh, the implementation of add shortcode function. And that of course includes the uh, implementation of our own, uh, of our own function uh, 
which is a custom function of course but it takes two parameters and uh, in some new episode what we're going to take a look is uh, to how to use this content um, parameter in case we're encompassing something within our shortcode opening and closing tags. So I hope that this has been helpful for developers out there or wanting to learn how to not only implement plugins but also uh, create uh, shortcodes. Again, my name is Alex Anteno with Mercalis Interactive Partners and if you have any questions or comments just don't hesitate to contact us at mercalis.com M-E-R-K-A-D-O-S.com. Have a Great day.